Hey guys, Kathleen here. I guess what I have for you today. I have the happy panda. Come on, the happy panda. Check it out. I tried to do this silently in different ways, but I couldn't do it. So, let's see if I can get up close so you can see. I'm not sure. But anyway, let me take them out of the box. I've played with them already. It is now Saturday at 12.38. So, the little panda comes with comes in this. It comes with a screwdriver. It even comes with pretty good instructions. And this brings me back to my high school. Actually, junior high, high school, elementary, whatever. Remember those little koala bears? And then Garfield came out. You'd squeeze the back of them and they'd just clip onto anything. You'd have them on your purse. If you had a car, you had them hanging from your rearview mirror on, on a bandana. Yeah, we did bandanas back then. Um, or the hemostats hanging from the rear view. Yeah, things like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those feathers with the little clip on the end. Yeah, those were us. We started that. Anyway, so this little guy... You can put him on your finger. He's more for a kid, but he's cute. And this will be given to a child after I'm done playing with it. And here's the reason they give you a screwdriver. It's a little tiny screwdriver. But if you look at the back, see those little screws? To put his batteries in, you have to use a screwdriver. And does he take regular batteries? Oh, no, 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 no. He takes nickel cad batteries. And they are listed on the back. Let me see if I can get that. Well, I was able to get it focused before, but let me read it to you. And I have to apologize because I don't have the right glasses on to see. So let me get this other pair on and just read real quick. It takes, it requires 4LR44 forward slash AG 13 button cell batteries. And he came with them. Which is pretty cool. So let me put them back on my finger. And to turn them on, guess what, Mom and Dad? He has a switch. You'll be very happy he has a switch. So, he's got to go through what you call a boot sequence. So, Mom and Dad, you might want to do this before you give this to the, to, to the little ones. Um, oh, well, he actually, he's going to go through the boot sequence every, every time you turn them on, so I suppose it really doesn't matter. So let's turn them on. That's the first thing it says on the instructions. If you look right here, let's see if you can see, because I can't see. It goes through a boot sequence. These are all the instructions. They're pretty good. He's got sensors on him. He does stuff when you touch him in certain places. So let's... Oh, he's... No, okay, I didn't. I thought I died. I almost said a bad word. Okay, so... On this, and yep, I can't see. I need glass. I need... I still need my new pair of glasses. Because this is just crazy. 
Okay, so let's turn him on. That's his boot sequence. He's cute. Isn't he cute? Okay, he is sound activated. He's t sensor activated. And he plays with you, apparently. So the, the first thing it says... He's eating and laughing at me. It says to hold my panda and blow in his face. I'm gonna let I'm gonna be quiet for a second and let him stop. Okay, he doesn't want to stop, so let's turn him off. Let's turn him off, and let's try that again. He just wants to keep doing this. He's supposed to be able to blow into at his face and he does stuff. So let me see if I can get him to stop cooking up and blowing his face. Okay, well, he didn't really stop. The next thing you're supposed to be able to do is tap your panda on the head. Actually, you know what? One of the things you're supposed to do is turn him upside down. Okay, that's a new sound. So, let me turn them off, because I think I got a defective one. Um, anyway, you are supposed to, when you blow in his face, he laughs at you. Um, you're supposed to be able to just touch his head. Let me see, hang on. You blow air. You tap his head for fun reactions. You hang, you hang them upside down like that. You, you pet your panda's head, which I don't understand because there's sensors here, and I don't know. It's hard plastic, um, and I don't know how tapping versus touching is any different. Um, Press and hold both sensors for a silly surprise. Okay, let's try that. Let's see if that works. Okay, so he still doesn't want to stop. He farted. Did you hear that? Hang on. 
Oh, damn it. Oh my goodness, he farts. Okay, so I can't get his head to stop going, but I got him to fart. <laughs> oh, okay. Lock him on the head, and he... Oh, the... oh I whacked him. He didn't like that. Does do different stuff. That's pretty cool. Let me see. Okay. Oh, that's the farting. I'm rubbing. I'm petting his head. Okay, that's what he does when you when you pet his head when you when you whack it. He doesn't like it when you whack him in the head. It shows you just tapping it, but you really gotta whack him. Oh, he makes he makes different noises. You don't whack him too hard, but you have to whack him on the sensors. Um, and the last thing. I, I still can't believe you fart. Only me. With my two glasses on. Okay, it says to cuddle my panda. For sleepy. Let's see if he sleeps. I know this video is getting to be too long, but... My panda's not very cooperative, so... Okay, he doesn't, for some reason, mine, I, I can't get him to do anything when he cradles, but I didn't know he farted before either, so. And when I held him upside down, I did play with him before. When I held him upside down before. Okay, he didn't, he made that noise. Oh, look, it, he stopped. That's the sleeping noise he makes. That's the sound you're supposed to hear when you cradle him. Let's see. Yep. There we go. He does work. Yay. Okay, hang on. You're going to make a liar out of me now, aren't you? Okay, well, I'm not quite sure what happened. Oh, he came back to life. <laughs> okay, so I'm not, I, I'm a little unclear, but your kids will have fun with this. This is obviously a kid's toy. And uh, I apologize for looking goofy, and yeah, this is a late, late review. Um, and let me turn him off. Okay. Mm. 
my apologies. Actually, let me put them back on so I can read. Um, anyway, I was playing with him earlier. Um, and he didn't quite, uh, the one I got, he's a little off. Um, he is cute, though. I will give him to, um, I'll, I'll, this will go to a trial, uh, although, I don't know, I may, I may see if they'll replace it for one that works, because I really want to donate it. Um, and while he does work, he doesn't quite work perfectly, and I think I just might have got kind of a lemon. Because he does kind of work, and he doesn't kind of work. Or maybe I'm just screwing it up. I'm not a kid. Maybe that's it. So, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll donate it, and maybe I'll give it to one of my friends who, hmm, really needs some a lot of noise in her life. Yes. Anyway, so this is the cute little panda. And I initially, I thought he was a speaker. Um, so I thought he was going to be a cute little speaker I could, like, put in my car and have tunes play out of him or what have you. Because my stereo doesn't work anymore. Um, but he's not. He's a toy and he's cute. And he's a panda. And I probably would keep him around if he, you know, because he's just cute. But where he's a toy... And, um, the school season's coming up, and kids are going to want some cool stuff for their backpacks and stuff. Or just little doohickeys to play with. So even when, if he ever stops working, even when, if he stops working, look how cute he is. You can just have him hanging off of your purse or what have you. But I don't think he's going to stop working, because, I mean, look at they have the battery, so you have to unscrew it, and it takes, uh, cad, nickel caddy, I forget what they're called, they're nickel batteries, nickel cad, nick cad, something like that, they're the round ones, they're like, they're watch batteries, basically, <laughs> old watch batteries, but he's cute, and, uh, he does do a lot of things, um, definitely, um, I would actually, I, I, I don't know what the, the teenagers are into these days. I, I could probably, I could, I know back in the day, I mean, I was in high school and we had the little clippy things and all sorts of buttons and stuff all over our purses. And you know what? We, we were, um, we were the cool kids. We were the kids that, um, yeah, I won't get into that. Anyway, um, so we had all that stuff. On our purses and hanging from our rearview mirrors and stuff. So, um, this is definitely a kid's toy, but I definitely could see a teenager having this, uh, uh, especially, well, obviously a girl more than a guy. Um, but hey, you know what? A guy can have it too. Pandas are love, pandas love everyone. So, anyway. Um, I could see this definitely hanging from a teen's rearview mirror or on their desk at work or what have you. Or, or an adult. Just if, if you know someone who likes pandas, you could. this would be a cute gift for someone who just absolutely loves pandas. Um, for, the, for the person who has everything panda, I bet you don't, they don't have this. This is the thing you want to get the person who loves pandas. So... It's not just a kid's toy. It's mainly a kid's toy, but it's a kid's toy. It's for the teenager who just wants something cute to hang in their car or have on their desk or in their bedroom or what have you. It's for the the young the young professional who has a cute little cubicle with little doohickeys in there because um, they all have them in the candy dish. Uh, I, I had the candy dish. I was the candy girl at work at one point. So, and, and the adults. Maybe someone you know just went to China or Japan or, or somewhere in the Pacific Rim. And maybe they didn't see pandas. And maybe they weren't in the region of the Pacific Rim that has pandas. But you know what? They will love a panda because it represents the Pacific Rim. So, hey, why not get them this? 
they would love to have this either on their desk in their with their little with their little collectibles if they collect panda bears they would love this i've never seen this and i collect teddy bears i have since i was before i was even a year old i got my first teddy bear and never stopped okay so they went from fluffy teddy bears to smaller ones so normally as a teddy bear collector i probably would have kept this because he's a bear but you know what i am going to donate this and i'm going to donate it either to a child or actually i'm going to donate this to a child um, I'm going to test it a little more and make sure it works. And if it doesn't uh, work like it's actually supposed to, I'm going to contact the vendor. If it doesn't work exactly the way it's supposed to, I'll see if they'll replace it. And then I will donate it to a child. Um, uh, uh, probably, um, I'm not sure. I'll have to think that one through. But um, definitely, it's really for all ages. Just think about it. He's cute. So, anyway, this is a late night review for Kathleen because I'm bored out of my mind and I'm not having a good day. And because, pee, it is what it is. So, enjoy your day. If you liked this late night video with Kitsy, give me a thumbs up. If you like the little panda, oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Let me do it. He's he's not going to do it for me now. There we go. <laughs> if you like the farting panda, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I am on Instagram. I am on, uh, obviously, YouTube. I am on the WeTube. I am on Facebook. I am on Twitter. I am everywhere. Just look for Kitsy D. Hashtag either Kitsy or Kitsy D. Kitsy D is, um, you'll, you'll definitely find me. If you hashtag Kitsy, you'll find me and you'll find another Kitsy. Um, but look for Kitsy, Kitsy D, and stuff like that. So, I hope you liked it. If you didn't, please be nice. But if you did, definitely give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any suggestions, um, other than Kathleen, get some like, some glasses or some contacts. I never used to wear glasses. Um, but uh, if you have any suggestions, comment below. Um, when I get a chance, because this is a late night video, I'll put the links in there. And I have put links in there um, so you'll know where to buy this. Um, and I'll do that um, later. But um, if it, definitely um, let me know what you thought. And I hope you enjoyed it. So this is my late night review. I didn't get anything all pretty because it's just been not so great of a day. Because, yeah, I'm married and here I am at night doing... A review at one o'clock in the morning that tells you how my day went so but I got a little panda and I'm gonna do a good deed I'm gonna donate it to someone um, who really enjoy it and have fun with it so I hope you liked it I did I had fun doing it gave me something to do so Kathleen out. I'm sorry this is so long, but peace, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, peace out. Love you guys, and thank you for subscribing, and thank you for supporting me. I really like it. You guys keep me going, because I don't have much. Um, being disabled just really sucks, so thanks for keeping me going. Love you. Bye.